Uh, one woman escaped, the only surviving suspect. How much of a threat does she pose now? Uh, right now, though, I, I can't imagine anything other than her uh, trying to go underground, stay underground, find a safe place um, in order to just live another day. Um, I mean, she could very well be dangerous, uh, particularly if she takes a page from her her companion's uh, playbook and the way those guys conduct themselves when they're cornered that they, they go down fighting hail of bullets or blow themselves up. So her by herself don't really think anything much more than trying to hide for as long as possible. So uh, the idea that I have been seeing and reading in news reports, Juliet, about will she strike again, do you think that that is a very real possibility? Uh, no, I, I agree with Robert. She, uh, uh, she finds herself in a situation she probably did not anticipate, which is that she would be the sole survivor. Because remember, they had an exit strategy. They just, it just didn't get executed as planned because beginning with uh, the car accident uh, uh, after the attack on Wednesday. So uh, she is isolated uh, and uh, is likely not to reach out to any network and is just trying to uh, survive till the next day. Uh, but we don't know who else they're affiliated with. That's what the French authorities are looking at. That's why the phone calls are important. And then, of course, capturing her uh, in hopes that she will talk about what, uh, who supplied the weapons, how did they get this money, how does a plan like this get executed uh, pretty well and pretty effectively, unfortunately, for the, uh, for the French.